people so today I just decided to make this video and uh, what I'm gonna do is as you can see this engine cover and the Mercedes Benz all of these uh, names right here as you can see they're like faded so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna show you how to restore it basically so it's like from the factory so as you can see this Mer Mercedes logo is okay but these letters they're like the paint is like coming off basically so instead of buying a new engine cover I'm gonna just restore it so first thing is I'm gonna take it off gently these things really like to break one as you can see that thing is cracked right there already like so I'm gonna put it aside right here so as you can see all the letters are faded and they don't look nice at all and there was this crack I'll fix it also show you how to do that so right now basically what we have to do is take whatever some cleaner or engine degreaser or whatever and just clean this whole thing up so I'm using this engine degreaser I'm gonna spray this thing there everywhere okay I'm gonna take a clean rag I'm gonna wipe everything off gonna wipe all of this off and you can also just power wash it or something I don't have the power washer right now so I'm just doing it this way So basically you have to just go around and clean all the dirt off of this thing. This thing is cleaned up, you have to wait until it gets dry. After that, this is like my method basically. This is like a, just a paint, you know. And with this thing, I'm gonna use this paint brush and I'm gonna paint these letters. I might have to trim this brush or just make it like smaller, like, or because I don't need the, uh, this many uh, wire brushes here. So. so I'll take this wire brush and I'm using this uh, just like a paint. And also, like, after you clean this thing, make sure it's dry. And then after that, I'll be just, you know, I'll, I'll probably have to like trim this brush because it's too long and I'm going to have to carefully go around all of these letters and just, I'm going to paint them basically, make them like new. And I tried matching this color with this thing and it matches pretty good. It's not like really white, it's like more, it, in camera it seems like it's like white, but I mean it's it says it's white, but it's not like bright white you know I should say so I think it's gonna work really good on this thing here's how I trimmed it and uh, I think it's gonna work really good on this thing I just have to be really careful and we'll see how it comes out so I'm just gonna go carefully around this thing I should have picked up a smaller brush actually this one kinda sucks but it's fine we're gonna try So, as you can see, I have this leather painted, and uh, it's not yet perfect. What I'm gonna do 
I'm going to wait like until it gets dry. I'm going to put another coat on because right now when I try to paint the whole thing, it just smears everything. Instead of, you know, filling up all the spots. So, yeah, I'm just going to go around and do the same thing. So what I found easier is that um, just trim this thing off like that. And now, when I try to paint it, I'm going to show you a quick method, a little different one. How to put the paint on. Instead of smearing it around, just basically go like this. You put like dots, basically, on this thing. Like so. This way you minimize the smearing and it's coming out a little better. So it's uh, I, I'm just uh, painting this thing right now and I'm gonna show you something one um, this paint it's actually looks like it's white. But on the dryer, it's like more like silver metallic color. So, you know, it's you just really have to be careful. And plus, I'm not really using a good brush. This is, uh, I should have used like something smaller than this. Because, you know, I'm going to show you something right now. Okay, so I just painted this leather right now one more time. As you can see, it's drying up. This leather is basically dried up. I mean, you can't really see it on camera. It's like all white, but it, when you see it, like in person, it's more like silver metallic, you know. And as you can see, I put a little too much uh, paint and it just ran down right there. And uh, yeah, but as you can see, like there's a difference in that thing, you know. At the end, I'm gonna clean it up even more. All of these spots around the letters, but yeah. You know, it's, it's not looking that bad. This is all the old ones. I didn't paint these yet. And this is... Uh, these letters are already done. So. Looks good. Progress so far. As the crack I was talking about. I'll fix it later. Um, so, these are painted. I'm gonna go and put another coat really soon after this dries up. And this is basically ready. Okay. So... Yeah, it's not perfect, like I said. Should have used a really, really like smaller like brush, but it really looks much better than these faded letters. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with the you know results. Okay, so I'm just going carefully around and just literally putting like dots instead of like actually going across it or like otherwise you're just gonna smear it then. But this way as you can see it like it doesn't really create like gaps or anything. It really fills the spots when you when you literally go like dots like that okay so as you can see the first side is pretty much ready okay it's not a hundred percent perfect but if you look at it from here as you can see you can see the mercedes-benz ladder is pretty good and uh, this side, as you can see, they're really ugly and faded. Okay, just keep going around and paint those things. Here's the final product. Right here. 
both uh, sides are painted. I didn't paint this one because I mean they're pretty close so okay now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna clean the engine bay this is my personal method of doing it just using engine degreaser for now and I'm just gonna go ahead and spray all of this stuff not too much all of this here that's dusty okay this air intake here right there basically all of this stuff and just a little bit right here actually the best thing would be to probably spray some on the rag and then just go ahead and clean it up this way okay and this hose here okay so so it's gonna look nice and clean Now, I'm going to just get this thing here, just clean all of this around. It looks like it's brand new, basically. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, I got this drill. I got the zip ties and <clears throat> I'm going to work with this crack right now and I'm going to drill right here and probably right here like two holes one here one here one here one here so basically four and then we'll see how it comes out okay so I just drilled these two holes actually I think I'm going to go with only two so it's going to be like less noticeable now I'm just gonna put this through. Could have used a smaller size drill bit, but that's okay. Well, actually, the best thing would be to have the end of the zip tie on the other side. So this way. That's it, like that. And now I'm just gonna tie it up and it's gonna basically look like this upside down like so and then just cut the end of it so this thing looks and as you can see it's I'm pushing up on it and it's, it's holding pretty good you know much better than it was before so now I already cleaned this uh, engine bay as much as I could okay and now I'm just ready to put this back like so one two and three okay as you can see it's like brand new basically Alright, so as you can see, it's much better than it was before, okay? And now you can see <clears throat> these leathers much better. And um, yeah, so that's how you basically do that. Watching again, and if you like the video, like it, and then subscribe to my channel. There's more videos to come, and uh, thanks a lot for everything, and I'll see you next time.